Hey guys, it's Jackie and today I'm here with my May favorites for you guys and I know I'm a little late with posting my May favorites and I haven't really been uploading on my normal schedule Monday and Friday but when I came back from the Philippines I was just super busy all at once and super jet lagged. Johnny always tells me not to use that as an excuse but I really was. I was so tired but anywho I'm back and feeling great so now I'm going to share with you guys my favorite products throughout the month of May. So first I have a blush and this is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Oops. Oh my god, I'm showing you the wrong way. <laughs> I've heard a lot about this, so I was like, what is the hype with this Luminoso blush? So I went and picked it up, and it is so pretty. It is like this orange, corally, shimmery blush that is just really flattering on my skin tone, um, like my darker tan. This is like a tan for me. This is um, really flattering and it's so pretty. It's right there. My next favorite I've had for the longest time but I haven't really used it that much. And then on my trip to the Philippines I took this with me and I used it a lot. So this is the e.l.f. Golden Bronzer and it looks like this right here. So you get four different shades and I know some people like to swirl it all together. Um, I actually like to take like a tapered um, like a tapered face brush and mix these two colors right here and use that like as a slight contour and then this color right here uh, is like the prettiest highlight ever I use this for my cheekbones so there it is right there oh it's so pretty like I just put it right there and it's gorgeous so let me I don't really use this red one too much that's like a weird color but these two let me show you a swatch of these ones can you see? Oh, you can't see it. It matches my skin too much. But it's right there. Super, super pretty. And my last makeup product that I have been loving throughout the month of May is my L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the color Nude Beige. It is so soft. Like, the powder is so soft that you would think it might be a cream. But it, it's not a cream. It's a powder. But it is so soft. And here's a little swatch. I don't know. Right there super light but my face is a lot lighter than my body so but there's a little swatch it's really creamy and you get good coverage mattifies the entire face so love this powder so this next favorite I guess falls under skincare but it is the sensitive cleansing makeup wipes and you guys recommended this on my vlog channel I think it was my vlog channel that you guys recommend I try these so I did and I finished up the whole thing so this is actually empty but I'm gonna go pick up some more because I love these I actually like these more than the Pond's makeup remover this one is so much more gentle than the Pond's one so I have a new favorite facial wipes I love this stuff so now we're moving more into like the bath products. So this first one is the Aveeno Positively Smooth Shave Gel and I did a review a few months ago on the epilator and I mentioned how I haven't been shaving my legs anymore, I've just been using the epilator. But then I realized, yes I was using the epilator, but then I realized every time I use the epilator I'm like so close to my leg like looking at this is gross but looking at all my hairs and making sure every single one is gone and the ones that aren't gone I will pick at my skin um, like with tweezers or something I will pick at my skin and to make sure that all the hair is gone like and I know that doesn't sound that bad but I pick to the point where my skin starts to bleed I know that's really disgusting I'm really bad like this is a bad habit of mine and then I get these really bad scars on my legs and I've become really self conscious about my legs now because I have so many scars now and I've noticed it's because I use the epilator so I stopped using my epilator um, and I've started shaving again. My scars have gone down a little, but I still have scars. That's just going to take time to heal, you know, um, and like fade away. So I've been shaving more, and I love this stuff. It really does make my legs feel smooth, and it says it helps you shave less often, which I actually do believe. Um, I can shave like every other day, which is awesome, instead of every single day. So I really like this shave gel. I haven't tried a whole ton, so... Um, but I do like this one. So if you're looking for a shave gel, I recommend this guy. So my next favorite is probably my favorite out of this whole bunch of favorites. And it is the Australian Gold SPF 30 Lotion. And it's a sheer coverage with Invisidry technology. And it says it's the number one fragrance. And it totally is. This is a sunscreen with SPF 30. I just said that. But it smells so good. It's like fruity like bananas or something. 
it smells so good. I've never tried a sunscreen that smelt so delicious. You know how everyone complains about sunscreens having that sunscreen smell? This one smells so good. If you guys know where I can get more of this, please let me know because I got this in a goodie bag at an event I went to a while ago. Um, and I just love this so much. So I definitely want to buy more of this. I just love this. The smell is so delicious. Oh my gosh, that was embarrassing. Sorry about that. Anyways, I love that sunscreen so much. <laughs> so my next body favorite is from Hollister, and this is the Silver Strand Beach Body Mist. And when I worked at Hollister back in high school, I used to buy these body mists all the time because I've, when I was younger, I've always been a body mist person. I never really liked perfumes and never wore perfumes, but now I've slowly eased into um, perfumes, but I still love body mist so much more. So um, I, I got this one, the Silver Strand Beach, and it smells so good. Mm, it is so good. It's like, what is this smell? It's like flowers, maybe? Tropical fruity flowers. I'm really bad at this. I don't know, but it just smells amazing. So you should go into Hollister and smell the Silver Strand Beach Body Mist. It just smells so good. So now moving on to my random favorites. Let's start with this one because it's kind of a big deal right now to me and it is the Bobble Water Bottle. Throughout May, I've been working out a lot more. Um, I know it doesn't look like it, but I have. I really have been working out a lot more. So when I go to the gym or any like when I go hiking or working out or whatever, I always take my Bobble Water Bottle. And if you don't know what a bobble is, okay, so it's a water bottle, but you just open it and you put tap water or sink water in here and this little guy right here filters the water. So the water that comes out that you drink is filtered water. So how cool is that? Oh, and if you guys want to know where you can get the bobble water bottles, I got mine at Best Buy. I know that's kind of weird, but I found it in the checkout line and I was like, oh, why not? But you can actually get these at Target and I think Walmart has them too. Another random favorite is my favorite song of the month, which is Selena Gomez, Come and Get It. I just, I love that song so much. I think it's really fun. When I first heard it at like whatever award show it was that she sang it, I was like, hmm, I don't know if I like this song that much. But the more I heard it, I was like, this is such a fun song to like just sing and dance to. And when I went to Zumba class like a few weeks ago, they played this song and we were dancing to it and I was singing along and I was just like the happiest girl ever. I was like, when you ready, come and get it, na 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 na, na 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 na, na 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 na. When you ready, come and get it, na 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 na, na 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 na, na na na. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I love that song so much. And every time I hear it on the radio, I just blast it up because it is a fun song to dance to. Another favorite are the books I have been loving throughout May, and it's the Pretty Little Liars series. And I started off, it's right here, it's Allie's Pretty Little Lies, which is like the prequel to the whole series. So I read that one first, and then I picked up Pretty Little Liars, which is like number one, like book number one, which I finished, and then now I'm on Flawless, which is book number two. It's so, like, interesting to me that I just, I want to find out what happen happens next, so I just keep reading and reading and reading. I love Pretty Little Liars. And speaking of Pretty Little Liars, that brings me to my favorite YouTuber of the month, which is Tess Christine 123 and she is a... YouTuber, obviously, but I found out about her channel through Pop Sugar because she has her own show on Pop Sugar Girls Guide, which I have a show on there too. If you guys didn't know, it's Lazy Girls Guide to Beauty, and she has her own show on Pop Sugar Girls Guide, Girls Guide called um, Get Ready with Me or Get the Look. I think it's Get Ready with Me slash Get the Look, but that's how I found out about her, and so I checked out her channel. I really like her videos. She has um, a Pretty Little Liars Get the Look series where she does each character, um, hair, makeup, and outfit, um, all inspired by the characters. And what's cool is that uh, it's not just like inspired looks. It's she is like like repl replicating the looks. So if you want to know like exactly which shoe. Um, 
Arya was wearing in this episode, she might show you exactly which shoe it is, you know what I mean? So I definitely recommend you guys go check out Tess Christine and tell her Jack-Jack sent you and Jack-Jack says hi and all that good stuff. I love when I go over to their page and I see like all of you guys leave comments saying Jack-Jack sent me or Jackie sent me. It just, it puts a smile. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love you guys. So go give her some love and tell her I say hi. Uh, I really like her videos and I think you guys will too. So that's pretty much it for my May favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorites throughout the month of May have been. Just leave them in the comments or leave a video response. And um, yeah, if you have any uh, video requests you want me to do, uh, let me know. Or if you have any products that are really hot right now that you want me to try and review, let me know as well. But I do want to let you guys know, for the month of June, I have this fun little thing that I am planning. So... Every Friday throughout the month of June, I am going to do a timed makeup challenge tag. I'm going to start with 10 minute makeup challenge and then go down to the 5 minute makeup challenge, down to the 3 minute makeup challenge, and down to the 1 minute makeup challenge, which will be really crazy to see. So you guys should come back every Friday to see the timed makeup challenge and see if I'm able to do it or not. I am kind of nervous for this, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun and I hope you guys are excited. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Have a magical day.